autism. Other acetaminophen products at risk include Excedrin, NyQuil, Zayquil, and other store brand pain relievers. Children with autism have a hard time interacting with others. Those on the spectrum usually begin exhibiting social symptoms by the time they're 8 to 10 months old. Call now for a free confidential consultation. Call 800-608-1425. Total Gym includes everything you need to get into the best shape of your life. For everybody, at any age, it works every muscle group, including your core, using your own body weight as resistance. Customers love Total Gym because it's fun, fast, and effective. Nothing delivers full body results like Total Gym. And right now, you can try it risk-free and enjoy special savings, too. Get on-demand workouts free, free shipping, and more. Call now. Well, we expected a pitcher's duel, but look at how these pitchers do it differently. Seven feet from the ground and release point, and about five feet from the release point. And then the extension, a little bit... I saw the island of my country, Martinique, filled with coffins. They were made of varnished wood. They were so tight that there was not a place to put a foot. The whole island of Martinique was covered with closed coffins. Then I saw a man in a white dress standing, watching this show. He held in his left hand a hammer with his other hand. And he was holding a chisel. The Spirit of God tells me that this man represented the church, and with his tools he had the ability to open these coffins and resuscitate men who were in these coffins. Then I saw a high mountain. It was located north of the island. In this mountain there was a cage. A horseman came out of this cave abruptly. He was riding a black horse harnessed at the war and battle. This animal was wearing a long red mane. Its hoof and his tail were likewise red. His harness was black, adorned with multiple stones, precious red. The rider himself was wearing a dark coat. He held a sword in his hand. He had the face of a dead man. There was no color of life on his face, which reflected death. This rider wore a ring on his finger. This ring represented intertwined serpents. The spirit told me that this ring was on the finger of ancient principalities ruling this island since ancient times up to the eve days, and that this this rider of death was subjected to Satan. The rider was galloping with speed and determination. He seemed to know his purpose. I saw men, women and children in front of him. He slaughtered and cut them down violently on his way, and they fell heavily to the ground in a thud. My ears were filled with cries of these victims. Their legs were cut at the knee. Cut by the sword, the rider was not missing his target. Blood of the innocent flowed and made the earth red. This man was tirelessly cutting the base of support for men, women and children. None of them escaped this massacre. Then I saw a coffin that were closed, previously opening themselves. I saw men and women that were slaughtered by this rider falling into these coffins that were opened. Once a man or woman was hit by the sword of this rider of death, he was falling straight away in the coffin that was opening automatically. And the moment the victim fell in the coffin, it was closing automatically. As soon as they were hit by the sword, these innocent fell in these coffins. Then I heard the cries that they were making to God before expiring. I could hear them saying, Lord God, why did you not warn us? Oh God, why did you not warn us? This show was horrible and tore my heart. This is the implication of failure to evangelize. Many Christians have blood of the innocents in their hand. There are souls who are dying in the streets of Fort de France, in the streets of St. Peter, in the streets of St. Marie, and in all the streets of Martinique. There are men and women who die every day. There is not a day that the kingdom of Satan does not receive at least 20 souls. Yet the kingdom of God too has its door wide open, but the Lord is waiting on his servants, because each of you have a responsibility of proclaiming the gospel of God. Chapter 2, The Stones of Fire. I saw a group of Christians. They were praying, worshipping God and interceding with burning fervor. Suddenly they turned into stone of fire that had a great heat. Then I saw a stone in the middle of other burning stones in a kind of vat. This burning stone was in front of the throne of God and served to burn incense before the face of God. The Spirit told me that these fiery stones were the various churches. He explained to me that the more they prayed, the more they would be fiery and flamboyant. Then 
then I saw the same tub and the same stones of fire in a small empty house. One of the fiery stones came out of the tank. The devil was standing in distance and was watching these stones of fire. He was astonished and seemed distraught in front of this show. Then I saw one of the fiery stones moving and advancing in front of the devil. Immediately I saw the devil fleeing from it, and he was shouting with all his might. The Lord said, I will break all those who rise up against you. I will break them because they will stand up against the stone, the burning stone of the altar of the Lord. You are an inflamed stone. You are a burning stone. I took a stone from my altar, from my throne, and I deposited it in the middle of this country. Feel the flame, the flame that emerges from this stone. These flames of fire will burn whoever will rise against my sheep. The Lord said to me, Satan has built on this island a kingdom. You have under your feet a kingdom. A kingdom was built on this island by Satan where he 